Texas sheriff sees F Trump sign on Mexican's truck. Offers a better idea instead. A Texas sheriff received numerous calls from motorists who spotted something infuriating while driving down the road. There was a sign placed on a truck that said F Trump and someone captured a photo of it. Of course, the sheriff knew that he couldn't just let this man vulgarly and publicly disrespect the President of the United States without taking action, so the sheriff offered a better idea for the truck's owner. Sheriff Troy E. Neals of Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office in Texas loves his job. However, along with his job comes many interactions with the public that other people would rather avoid. In fact, he began receiving many calls regarding a white truck with an offensive display that had fellow motorists disgusted after the owner of the vehicle had placed a decal sign on his back window that disrespected Donald Trump. According to the Daily Mail, the sick sign read, F Trump and F you for voting for him. After Sheriff Neals made, uh, was made aware and saw a photo of the truck, he decided to take action, turning to Facebook for some help from his community. I have received numerous calls regarding the offensive display on this truck, and it is often seen along FM 359, he wrote according to his Facebook post, which included the image of the truck in question. If you know who owns this truck or it is yours, I would like to discuss it with you. There was a good reason for his request as he had a better idea that he wanted to, uh, he actually wanted to present to the truck's owner. Uh, our prosecutor has informed us she would accept disorderly conduct charges regarding it, but I feel we could come to an agreement regarding a modification to it, Sheriff Neals added. The photo itself doesn't show the truck's license plate or any discuss, uh, distinguishing features other than a Mexican skull decal and other sticker uh, stickers about dogs, which appears to say, Love My Pitbull. Although he has little information on the owner of the truck, Sheriff Neal still has hope that he will get to have a talk with the driver. In fact, if the owner saw the photo that the sheriff shared online, any smug grin he may have had was undoubtedly wiped off his face when the sheriff wrote two words that no one ever wants to hear or see from a cop, disorderly conduct. If the comments on the original post, Sheriff Neal's address, Texas law, sharing a picture, Sheriff Neal's relayed the Texas law regarding disorderly conduct, which states, a uh, person commits an offense if he intentionally or knowingly uses abusive, indecent, profane, or vulgar language in a public place, and the language by its very utterance tends to incite an immediate breach of the peace, makes an offensive gesture or uh, displays in a public place, and the gesture or display tends to incite an immediate breach of the peace. Of course, leftists immediately began to fight back. Law enforcement officers such as yourself are a stain on the freedom of individuals, one user wrote. You're the sheriff for crying out loud. Run his plate, then find him. Find him and give him a trophy for the 70% of Americans who agree with him. Uh, you're deranged if you think 70% of Americans agree with him. Uh, so you sound like an idiot, another one added. Anyway, moving on. However, other users beg the officer to arrest the person. Ah, eh, that's going a little too far. Whether he lands himself in trouble or not, the man driving his truck has some serious issues. Any American who understands uh, what respect means would never even consider putting an offensive sign like this up about the sitting president. Um, you know, I mean, it is disturbing. Hopefully he doesn't have a job where he has to work with the public since he clearly puts his political bias on display and shouldn't be trusted to be fair to other persons. 
In fact, he's made it quite clear that he holds prejudice against others based on their political affiliations and how they voted. This driver needs to get his head checked and take some anger management classes. Maybe he should do that in Mexico since he hates our elected president so much. Yeah, it could be. He could do that in Mexico, you know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.